This is an abandoned prison in the middle of Iowa. Today I'm gonna travel all the way there to spend 24 hours locked inside. Have you ever gone to jail? No. Yeah, well that changes today. All right, so we just landed in Mason City, Iowa. This is by far the smallest airport I've ever been. Small, yeah. it, it had two gates. There was about 20 or maybe 15 people on our plane. So we rented a car. We have about a 30 minute drive and then we're in jail for 24 hours. So we traveled halfway across the country. We finally made it to this jail in Iowa. Now, before we walk through that door, which is the jail, I have a present for you. A brand new wow. TFG hoodie. Look at that. You should put it on, you ready? Yeah. All right, wow. so now we both have the brand new TFG hoodies. Uh, link in the description below, tfg.clothing. So the first thing you do whenever you go to jail, we have to have a cavity search. <laughs> Right behind your molars looking a little iffy, but you're good. So the cavity search is done. You've got your beautiful TFG hoodie. Now you gotta take it off. Oh. I have new clothes for us while we're in here. Found these on Amazon. Oh, We've wow. got <laughs> So starting right now, we're not allowed to leave this facility for the next 24 hours. And while we're here, we're gonna be doing what regular inmates do. So we're gonna start with a mug shot. We're gonna take a tour of the entire facility and a bunch of other challenges that I haven't told Steve yet. So behind this door is where the actual jail begins. By the way, this was a real jail. It's over a hundred years old. I have no idea what I'm getting us into. <laughs> we traveled halfway across the country for this. So we walked around and took a quick tour of our new home for the next 24 hours, but we realized pretty quickly that this challenge was not gonna be fun. Hey, this place has more than one bed though. Huh? <laughs> pretty nice. Come on, two pretty beds? Pretty nice. Is there more than one toilet though? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell I you about that. Because I only see one. <laughs> so this is the only toilet in the entire jail, and it is right out in the open for everybody to see. So if you have to poop or pee, um, I guess everybody in jail is seeing it. Yeah, I'm not staying here. I just booked a hotel. So uh, I'm going to lock Brandon in later, and I'm staying over there. I'm not doing this. You say something, Steve? No. Okay. Hey, why'd you change out of your prison outfit? I'm out of here, man. I am now. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 hey! Oh! We're in oh, here for 24 hours. You're in here for 24 hours. I just booked a hotel. And just like that, my 24 hours locked up in jail had begun. Luckily, I did have my cell phone, but they didn't have any outlets, so once my battery ran out, I was on my own. I've been in this place for a little over three hours. Still no word from Steve. He hasn't answered my calls, my texts, but I found this solitary confinement room. So I guess the prisoners back a hundred years ago that were really bad would get locked in this room. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's literally just a bed and this tiny little room with no windows at all. Steve-o, look who decided to show up. Brandon, how you doing? I can't believe you locked me in here. Yeah, I'm not actually gonna lock you in. I'll open it for you. No, no, no. I'm an institutionalized man now. You are can't you, let me outside. Are you actually gonna stay here? I can't make it on the outside. You've been here for three hours. <laughs> it's, it's been four. <laughs> it's been four hours, okay? Did you actually get a hotel room? Yeah, I'm not staying here. Are you kidding me? I, I actually want to see if I can do this. Okay. So it's been a little over 10 hours. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am never going to break the law as long as I live. I've been in here for 10 hours and I can't wait to get out of here. It's also like eight o'clock at night, I am starving. So I'm gonna call Steve and see if he could get me some food. Brandon, how you doing? You mind get me some food? I'm kinda hungry. Yeah, I can get you some to eat. All right, so I found this Mexican place like about a block away so that he literally hung up on me. Dinner time. All right. Would you get me Mexican? 
enchiladas, tacos. I got you some uh, these some peanuts. Peanuts. I got you some bread. You got me peanuts and white bread. Yeah. Oh wait, and the white bread's like smashed. You're a prisoner. What do you expect? And I got you some water. Dude, I wanted like tacos. Mmm. You like it? Not really. But... Sure, you don't want to stay a little longer? No, oh, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go stay in a nice hotel room. Dude, it's so lonely in here. <laughs> Good luck. This challenge only got harder when the sun went down. Trust me, being in a jail alone at night, it, it's terrifying. Meanwhile, Steve went to the local restaurant and had a delicious meal. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I have nothing else to do, so I'm gonna to try to go to sleep. I cannot wait until this challenge is over. This is also by far the most uncomfortable bed I've ever slept in my life. All right, so it's about 1 a.m. I'm gonna go check on Brandon, see how he's doing. Hopefully he's holding up all right. And uh, hopefully he's uh, ready for a visitor. Good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> what you doing? I thought I'd come visit you. Dude, I finally fell asleep. <laughs> Getting comfy in here yet? Not yet. No? <laughs> There's no pillows or blankets. <laughs> as annoyed as I was to get woken up at 1 in the morning, it was actually kind of nice talking to a human being. So Steve and I talked for probably 10 or 15 minutes, and then he had to go back to his hotel. You know, if you were actually a prisoner here, you wouldn't be allowed to leave this cell. I think you should be locked in here for the rest of the challenge. All right, lock me in. I like it. Please come back tomorrow. <laughs> so this was not part of the plan, but for the rest of this challenge, I am no longer just locked in the jail. I am locked in this jail cell. I'm gonna try to fall asleep again. What was that? Steve? So it's 8.57 in the morning. I have like an hour and a half left on this challenge. Steve still hasn't come back. One, I am starving. I've just been eating a ton of peanuts. Two, I'm almost out of water. And three, I have to pee so bad. Good morning. CB. So I have to pee really bad. You might let me out for just like a minute. You got the little toilet right down there. I'm not gonna use that little toilet, dude. <laughs> you got three minutes left. Okay, I can wait three minutes. All right, come on. It's been it's been 24 hours. Let me out. Not so fast. Throw those on first. What, dude? It's been 24 hours. Come on, I'm done with the game. Not that easy. So when I came by last night, I hit a series of keys around the jail. You okay. gotta find them and get yourself out. Once you get out, you're done. Okay, this is fun. I cannot find another key at all. Well, sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Warmer. I see warm. it. You're so close. Is, am I, oh, am I not, a, is it here? No. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh, go. Yes, one lock left. I just escaped a maximum security prison. I don't think it's maximum security. 